Hey everyone, welcome back! Today's video, it's so exciting! My adventure buying a kiln for the studio. Had to go on a road trip to a local pottery shop. Needed to consult with the experts on which kiln was right for me. My local pottery shop is Portland Pottery in Portland, Maine. They gave me all the kiln specifications to make sure that I was getting the correct one for my house, my studio, and what I do. I ended up going with the Scut 1027, which is a very standard, very common kiln for a lot of people. As you guys know, I'm shopping for a ceramic kiln, and these are electric. With kilns, they can be controlled a few different ways, and that needs to be considered when purchasing. This is a manual setup that requires a kiln setter. They also have digital. The digital setup, like shown here, is very popular. It is easy to use once you get the hang of it, and setting the modes is like setting a microwave. They did come out with new technology and you can bring your kiln to the future with the touch screen. This does have Wi-Fi and you can check in on your kiln with your cell phone. It is pretty cool and this is what I decided to go with. I figure buying a brand new kiln might as well get the top of the line new technology to go with it. In my opinion, Scott has the absolute best website for their products. Hands down, best website, best customer service, most informative, um, they're constantly posting videos, how to, how to improve your kiln, um, and just maintenance videos as well. Here is a description of the 1027. It's the KMT 1027 kiln. Um, and like I was saying, their website goes over absolutely everything that you need will need to know when purchasing. It's almost impossible to go over, over everything with you guys. It talks about how the kiln is designed, how it's put together, how it will be delivered, good for moving. Um, it goes over replacement parts and warranty and the elements, uh, the thermocouple. It's, it's a really great website, and I don't mean to rush through, but there's way too much to go over. You gotta check it out for yourself. So as a consumer, I need to make sure that I am purchasing the right kiln for my studio. They have kilns set up for residential and commercial use, so you gotta go to your electrical box. Gotta make sure that you have enough space for the kiln and you're gonna make sure that your electric is giving you true power. The kiln requires 240 so you need to make sure that the power coming from your box is really 240. Gotta call an electrician to find out. So when you purchase a kiln for the first time you're going to need to fill out a order form. This is pretty typical to make sure that the manufacturer is building this kiln exactly for your needs. First section of the order form is the voltage. We just talked about that making sure that you have true power. My situation 237 that's 240. Second part of the form is single phase or three phase basically residential or commercial. Again, you're going to want to call an electrician to make sure that you have this information clear. They want to know the amps. Got to resort back to that electrical panel and your electrician. Lastly, is a vent required? Yes, I do want a vent and I'll talk more about that. Also, delivery and install. Chose that as well because I want everything to be smooth. So it's important to talk about ventilation. Shown here is one option, but a hood could be right for you and your studio. 
There's no wrong way as long as there's proper ventilation in your studio. Here's some specifications of the EnviroVent 2. Again, Scott has a great website that goes over all the ins and outs. You want to make sure that you're doing your research so you get the right one for you. After some consideration and a lot of reading, I did decide to go with the environment too. I think it's right for my studio and I'm really excited to get it installed. Now it's back to Portland Pottery to submit the order form and make the purchase of this kiln. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to me. Thank you so much to my wonderful partner for making this happen and supporting me. Just when I was so excited and on cloud nine, the world had a pandemic. COVID-19 struck Maine and Governor Mills shut down the state to all non-essential businesses. The world got sick, schools closed and kids stayed home. It was a really devastating time, but things turned up in May. The end of May, my kiln was finally delivered and here it is in my studio. Just a little bit longer to go. The EcoVent 2 is installed on the bottom of the kiln. This is very similar to a dryer vent. However, in my situation, I am having it exit through a basement window. So I needed to convert that over and close it off. I have some pressure treated lumber that I just spray painted. Um, I have the, my dryer vent set up. On the exterior of the house and the yellow wire is not relevant to this project so disregard here it is here's the new kiln thanks everybody for watching I'm gonna make sure that I list all of the websites for Portland pottery for scuts kilns and all of their other accessories the eco vent too and everything else that I listed and went over today I want to make sure that you guys have access to that so stay tuned